Start a repair order. Let's take a look at how to write a repair order in Maxtrax. From the side toolbar, click the Write New Repair Order button to start the new repair order wizard, or press the Insert key and select the Write New Repair Order radio button and click OK. To search for our customer, we can use various criteria. Just click the radio button and enter that criterion. We'll just search by last name, which is the default, and we can enter the first couple letters of the customer's name as it is a progressive search. If the customer were not on the list, we would click the Add Customer button to start the Add a Customer wizard. But she is on our list, so let's just highlight her name. And here we can click Edit Customer to edit their customer record if needed. And click OK. And we'll get back to the Repair Order Wizard. Now click Next or just press the Enter key and select the vehicle for the repair order. Here again, if the vehicle was not on the list, we could click the Add Vehicle to start the New Vehicle Wizard. And like with the customer record, we can click the Edit Vehicle button to open the vehicle record, make changes as needed before starting our repair order, and then return to the wizard. Let's click Next again. If there are any quotes for this vehicle, a Quotes Available prompt will open stating quotes are available from the repair order. And if there weren't any quotes, this prompt wouldn't show up. Let's just click OK. And if there are any recommended services in this vehicle's record, this Recommended screen will appear next in the wizard. And this is a great tool to remind your customer about needed services and to upsell your job. Click in the Select column to add a recommendation to this repair order and choose the type of recommendation and click the Next button to add it to our Reasons for Service. Click Next and here we enter our Reasons for Service. We have vehicle problems or service requests we can choose from or we can enter a free form note. Be careful not to get in the habit of writing a free form note every time since you probably are going to use the same verbiage over and over again for things like an oil change. Selecting from the list of vehicle problems or requests is faster once you get all the descriptions customized to fit your shop and it really reduces your data entry in the long run. And you can still edit each one on the fly once it's added to your repair order. Let me show you. Let's click the Add Vehicle Problem button. So here are all the vehicle problems in the system. By clicking a category on the left, you can narrow the results to choose from. And then just select the problem. And see here, you can add information specific to this job as much as you want. Click OK and it's added to the repair order. Same for the request for service. Just click Add Request, select a category, and then the service. And we can enter again any custom notes that will apply specifically to this job. And click OK. Let me note, the Add, Edit, and Delete buttons that you see here are for the master record of these reasons on the list. So you can change the descriptions here and it will save your changes permanently in the system or you can add or delete additional reasons for service. You may notice between these lists that there is some crossover if the reason for service applies to both a problem and a request for service. And you can select which list to view with these radio buttons. Now let's close this. Now for the Freeform Note. If we choose Freeform Note to enter a reason for service we may never use again, something like Replace Custom Hood Ornament. We probably wouldn't see that one again. We can use the Freeform Note, but just be sure to change your lead-in text as the default is Note. And you can change the lead-in text permanently from the Setup section under the Miscellaneous Lists if you like. Let's click OK and it's added to the repair order. Once you click Finish, the repair order is saved to the service counter and now the Update Repair Order Information window opens requesting a starting mileage reading, a technician to be assigned to the job, and the customer source. We can enter all that information now and click OK or just click Cancel and we can enter that information later and this will take us into the repair order. From here, we can continue to add parts and labor or just save this repair order. And this concludes the lesson on Start a Repair Order.